Good morning, Wolfpack. I'm Noah Seed. And I'm Sterling Lede. Today is Wednesday, March 2nd, and we're here with your morning announcements. Seniors, just a reminder that today is the deadline to submit your FAFSA or CATA application. You need to fill out these applications in order to receive the first two years of community college free or to receive scholarships or other financial aid. If you have any questions or need more information, contact Ms. Abby or stop by the Career Center. To serve to change lives, speech contest applications are now open. Applications are due this Friday, March 4th, and the actual contest is next Thursday, March 10th at 6 p.m. Check your Synergy email for more information. Is there a teacher on campus that you want to recognize for demonstrating our IMCO principles? If so, stop by the leadership room and fill out an IMCO teacher edition slip. That teacher will then be entered into a drawing for the next staff meeting. Juniors and seniors, ball, ball and prom tickets are on sale now and will be on sale for the rest of the month. The dance is on Saturday, April 9th from 7 to 11 p.m. here at CO. Tickets cost $45 and formal attire is required. There will be food available for, to purchase. Don't like to dance? Don't worry. There will also be a game room and a movie room. Speaking of prom, Culinary is hosting a fundraiser dinner to help raise money for, for junior prom. Tickets can be purchased at the student store or with the school site controller. With the purchase of a dinner, you will also get a prom ticket. There will only be 100 spaces available for the dinner, so get your tickets fast. Email Mrs. Henderson for more information. Do you need an easy dinner option before an event or practice? Well, you're in luck because the culinary department and the CO softball teams have teamed up to create a drive through family dinner for six for $40. You must pre-order it by today. Dinner includes a pasta bake of your choosing, a Caesar salad with house-made dressing, and rosemary parker rolls. There is a limited number of dinners that are available, so be sure to reserve your dinner ASAP. Now, let's watch a recap of the Hype Showcase. That's impressive. I know, right? I can never. <laughs> That's okay, Sterling. I couldn't either. Attention all club advisors. Today, after school from 3.30 to 4.30 p.m. is your last chance to get a pic club picture taken for the yearbook. Club, pre club presidents must sign up for a time slot using the spreadsheet sent out to all club leaders. Please be on time wearing your club shirt and have a sign with your first and last name written in large print with a Sharpie. As term three comes to an end, ma many library materials will be showing up as due. For your textbooks and novels, hang on to them until your teachers tell you to bring them to, to class to return as a class next week. For scientific calculators, those don't need to be renewed and are checked out for the rest of the year. Non-scientific calculators do need to be turned in or renewed. For AP textbooks, hang on to them until after your AP exam. After your AP exam is done, you can return them to the library anytime the library is open. Hey Noah, have you been watching the news lately? I sure have, Sterling. In fact, let's send it on over to Ashley and Paul for our In the News update. Good morning, Wolfpack. I'm Paul Vargas. And I'm Ashley Borton, and we are here with your weekly In the News update. 
Sony's adaptation of the PlayStation game Uncharted, starring Tom Holland, has grossed over 84 million and sold over 2.4, 2, 9.2 million tickets worldwide. It is the second highest grossing film at the box office for 2022. However, it is yet to reach the highest grossing film, Spider-Man No Way Home, at around $166 million. Talk about a lot of money. In more serious news, last night President Biden gave the State of the Union address, which started with the response to Russia's aggression to Ukraine. He states that, yes, we, the United States of America, stand with the Ukrainian people, and that, together, along with our allies, we are right now enforcing powerful economic sanctions. Some of these include cutting Russia off from the international financial system, closing off American airspace to Russian flights, and providing Ukraine $1 billion to help defend their country. He goes on to explain how the American forces will focus on protecting the NATO allies if Russian forces change course, rather than directly uh, engaging Russia directly in Ukraine. In similar news, Russia plunges into economic decline as major companies end decades of business with the country. This is a direct result of Russia invading Ukraine. Companies such as BP, Shell, and Apple have all pulled out of Russia in support of Ukraine. That is all we have for you in the news today. Back to Anchors. Thanks, y'all. Well, that's all we have for you today, Wolfpack. I'm Sterling Lede. And I'm Noah Sneed. And remember, the strength of the pack is the wolf. And the strength of the wolf is the pack. Happy, Happy National, National Read Across, Across America, America Day, Wolfpack. Wolfpack.